Good morning everyone and welcome back to another weekly vlog. If you're new here, my name is Ella. I post um, just like weekly vlogs. I've got my wedding coming up in a couple of years. We've got planning for that. We are about to get a new puppy, um, which we are so excited for. We're actually picking her up next week. So I cannot wait. We're getting a little golden retriever and we have called her Coco. Um, so we have lots going on at the moment. What else? I am a new grad registered nurse. Um, just trying to get back onto my posting routine, I guess. I've actually signed up with a new PT as well. So waiting for my program to come through for that. So I've got lots going on at the moment. So please hit that subscribe button and follow along with what we get up to. So I've just got to Point Vernon, I've just drove here, it's like on the tip of Harvey Bay kind of thing, like up on, yeah. Anyway, and I have just got here and we're going to go for a bit of a walk. I've got my protein water here and I've just been drinking my um, crooming soda stim free um, pre-workout from the Georgia Richards collection with um, Naked Harvest and it is delicious like it is so good and it's the the sim free one but i still did feel like that like you know when you drink pre-workout and sometimes like your lips start to tingle i don't know if that's just me like if that's just a reaction i have or what like a side effect but i got that with this so anyway we are going to go for a bit of a walk um just get some steps in because the last couple of days i've been at home not feeling the best we're gonna get out Get some steps in, get some vitamin D, listen to a podcast, and yeah, go for a nice little walk. So I'll bring you along with me, and I'm actually on the hunt as well for like good like walking paths, just so that like on my days off or after the gym and stuff, I can come down and do like a bit of a stroll. But also for when we get our puppy, then I can take her along here for a walk. So we'll have a look at what it is like it is beautiful here like i'll turn you around and show you what i can see i feel like the video does not do it justice but it is just amazing there's some what's that say free bible or something anyway i hope i don't get stopped <laughs> it is lovely This is future Ella um, from July uploading a video from April, May. <laughs> so it became clear that a lot of people didn't actually know that we moved because some people were like, um, am I tripping or like, are you in a different house? So yeah, we moved house. Um, I had basically put like a bunch of like videos together, like packing vlogs, moving vlogs, and then Josh downloaded OneDrive on my computer and it basically like threw the whole system out of whack. So I've been slowly trying to like find the videos again on my computer to put them back into the editing software. It's a, yeah, a bit of a nightmare, but anyway, we're all good now. So I am basically just gonna upload like a random moving house vlog um, and like a house tour just so that at least like when I'm showing you guys around the house, you'll kind of know where everything is. Um, and we're also getting like a new couch and stuff at like the end of this um, month as well. So it'll make a bit more sense when you kind of know the area of the house. So yes, enjoy the little house tour. Um, probably a little bit of like moving content as well and a bit of weekly life throughout. Um, and yes, we'll get back to, I guess, back to july august from here <laughs> good morning everyone and welcome to my moving vlogs i am so excited that i now have my camera and i'm able to film all of this um just to give you a bit of a rundown i guess a bit of a backstory um my partner and i josh we moved to harvey bay in november of last year um we've been in that rental for i think it's coming up to the end of this month will be five months so our lease is six months um Unfortunately, the house that we're in, there's just a few difficulties with it. So we are moving into a new rental. It's a brand new build, four bedroom house, um, two bathroom, two garage, all of the works. It's in a new estate, um, about 
10 15 minute drive from where we are at the moment so not too bad we are in a bit of a different situation to what others might be in our leases overlap by a few weeks so we're not like in a big rush to pack um we get our keys next friday so i'm currently at bunnings i'm just going to go and buy a bunch of boxes because when we moved we thought we're not going to move house for a little bit so i gave all the boxes away and chucked out the ones that were a bit dodgy so here we are now five months later needing more boxes so i'm going to head into bunnings and head home um start getting a few little things packed up from what i can um, if you've watched any of my other videos, you would see that I have a spare room full of crap. That spare room is still there and I still need to go through it. So if I don't get to it, it just goes back in the boxes and comes back with us to the new um, to the new house. But yes. So I'm excited to bring everyone along for this little journey. I have been watching moving vlogs, oh my God, for years. Um, I was so excited when we moved to be able to kind of film the whole thing, but unfortunately I didn't have my camera then. But now I do and I'm so excited. Um, so like I said, we get the keys next Friday. We've got the moving truck. So that's the 26th. We've got the moving truck booked for the Saturday the 4th and the 5th of May. So we'll have our truck to be able to move everything over. Um, we haven't bought a great deal of furniture while living in this current house. So it's my birthday coming up actually on the 11th of May. So my parents have given me some money and I've bought us a... Um, like an entertainment unit under the TV and a buffet. So a lot of the spare stuff need to go in the buffet because they're like extra glasses or extra dinner sets and all of that jazz. So we will be getting a new couch, a new fridge, all of that. So I'm so excited to be able to start this little um, moving vlog process, a little series. Um, but yes, I'm going to head into Bunnings now. There's um, a few boxes that, that I want to get. And then they sell this tape that's like specific to the room. So you could tape the box in it. Like the tape says kitchen, bathroom, living and bedroom. If I didn't say bedroom already, I can't remember. Um, so the next five days I'm on afternoon shift. So it means that in the mornings I can get um, things all sorted, I guess. Get a bit of packing done so that there's not so much to do. Um, between the week that we've got the keys and then the truck i'm just gonna we're just gonna be taking a bunch of stuff over in my car and then when we get to the saturday and sunday that we have the van it means that we can just bring things basically everything else over so i'm really looking forward to it i'm excited to bring everyone along with us um and capture everything that i can possibly get um share some of my somewhat organization tips and tricks for moving and all of that jazz. So as you would have seen, I'm back from Bunnings. I got the boxes that you would have seen. I think they were like a 52 litre, so like a medium size. I got 15 of them because they're like an ideal size for me to be able to carry as well. Um, and a lot of the stuff doesn't really need to be packed up in the sense of like big moving boxes because we're only going like 15 minutes away. So some of it will literally just go in my car. But yes, so for some of the boxes, 
I got these. They're, it's a 24 glass divider insert. So these fit into the boxes, the 52 litre boxes that I bought. So I got two sets of those. And then I got just another tape because I remember when we moved last time, I only had the one and that's fine like if you're doing it by yourself but if you have some extra help at the time like it's literally six dollars just buy a second one because otherwise you're waiting around for each other um and then i got just some more clear tape these are the ones that i was talking about beforehand about the different rooms so what does it say so one says living room one says bathroom one says bedroom and one says kitchen so you don't even need to use like the whole tape. You can literally just break off the one part that says kitchen and then go from there. Oh, and go from there. Um, and then the last one I got is fragile. That was like two bucks and I thought, why not? Also then it means that anything that's like kitchen related, I can pop in there. And then I also got some of these moving bags these ones so I have lots of bedding and I have lots of pillows like I can show you for example at every like holiday or whatever you want to call it put the light on at every holiday like I will decorate the house so this is an absolute dump but I've got a bunch of like Christmas pillows so I think this side is probably easier to see but yeah, anyway, so this room clearly has not been touched properly. <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. But yes, this room is still a bit of a dump. Like, the office has not been organised. It's an organised mess. Like, everything has its place, but it is not sorted, I guess you could say. So yeah, so I've got lots of pillows in there and those bags are just perfect for it because it means I don't need to like wrap them up in boxes and stuff. I can literally just put them straight in there. Um, and then I'll do like a proper video showing everything we have to pack. But this is that spare room that I was talking about that hasn't really got anywhere. So that's a big tackle that I'm going to try and do over the next week before we physically get the keys because then I want to have enough time to just do like our own cleaning and all of that jazz. So our bedroom's fine. Like we really don't have much. Everything in here will be so easy to get packed up because we've got all the clothes hung up. We'll just do that trick where you put the like plastic bag around them, which I will show you all. Um, our other spare room is literally just like a bed with some pillows and sheets and stuff on it. And then in the cupboard, there's just a few like spare quilts. So that's what those bags will come in handy for as well. But this room, the office, and then that other spare room with the junk, the junk room, I guess we should call it now. Um, that will be the main tackle. The garage is all pretty sorted. Like I said, I'll show you all in like a different video, I guess. But we've got our shelving. <laughs> Where's the light? So we've got like our shelving, which has everything on it. These are just the boxes that, ooh, where are we? These boxes, those boxes, wherever I'm pointing them are the ones I've just brought. And then you know how you can go to Buddings and grab like just the spare boxes that they have for free. I grabbed a few of them. Um, this thing, I don't know if this is coming with us. We bought the shelving off of a family friend and they were like, oh, like we have this, these weights. And Josh is like, can we take them home? So I said yes, and they've literally been used once. So, because we have a gym membership, which he also doesn't use. But anyway, I digress. Um, I guess the kitchen as well is like a big thing because we've got lots of, we've got like our dinner sets and what else? That one's a junk drawer, but that's got like, extra bowls and cups and all of that jazz. Welcome to my crib. <laughs> this is Josh's office. So it's at the front of the house. It's nice and light. We've got the sliding wardrobes in all of the rooms, which are nice and big. 
As we come here, we've got the garage, which is a bit of a dump at the moment because we are loading lots of things through. We've got the linen cupboard with some things I bought and I will be doing a haul. So we've got the kitchen, the lounge room and the dining room here. We've got a beautiful big kitchen, really nice big cupboards and brand new everything, which is good. We've got aircon up there. We've got blinds that work. We've got the blinds that go outside as well. This is where the bed will be. And we've got aircon. And then we've got the walk-in road, which is, you can really walk into. More stuff for a hall. The bathroom. A huge shower. Everything closes slowly. Let's do it again. So nice. <laughs> And as we come out of the master, we head back into the main area. So we're going to have a dining table here. And then we've got the buffet and where we'll have our stools. Is it, what are they called? Stools. And then we'll have the TV cabinet here with the couch as well. And as we walk through this way, when we go left, we've just got like a little broom covered. We've got the spare bedroom, which we've all got really nice light, and we've got the same uh, sliding doors again for the robes, which are nice and big. And then we have got the toilet and the spare bathroom with a lovely bath. Into the last room that we all want to see is my office. It's a lovely big room. I'm very happy. <laughs> it may have taken us about five goes of swapping rooms to decide who gets what. Another big wardrobe. Nice new switches. <laughs> God, <I'm> just switching. <laughs> vlogging from the new house <laughs> so we have moved a few things over at the moment um, there'll be videos here there everywhere of what we've done so far because it's all a bit out of order <laughs> um, but I wanted to do a bit of a haul on some of the things that I bought recently it's gonna be a bit of an all-over-the-place haul because it's all over the place so starting off with came up we got these little flexi trays so these ones come two in a pack so I got four packs of them. These ones here are also two in a pack, but I got three of those. And then these ones are $2 each as well. They come with three in a pack. I got one, two, three, four, five of those because I plan on putting some of them in the office, but mainly like in the bathroom drawers, just for little things. And then I also got a few of these. So these ones were also $2 each, but they just come with one in a pack. And I got quite a few of those ones. So two, four, six. So I got eight of them in total. Um, so they're really, they're really good quality from what I can feel. <laughs> they feel good. Um, that was basically all for Kmart mostly. And then we went to Pillow Talk and spent way too much money. Anyway, we got 
Turkish cotton. They are so soft on your face. Oh, it feels really, really nice. So you've got a couple of face washes, a couple of hand towels, and then I got these really big like bath sheets. They are probably like two or three times the size of a normal towel. So they are amazing and they feel so soft. The other stuff from Pillow Talk I've got in the master bedroom here. <laughs> so I bought some European pillows to go in the spare bedroom and some covers, just some white covers to go over that and then a couple more spare white covers just for when they're in the wash and then i'll show you what bedding i got as well oh so i've resorted to the floor to do the rest of this haul um i got this bedding it's really soft it's a really nice material um so as a backstory harvey bay pillow talk is moving locations and because they're doing that they're selling off all of their stock so everything is 50 percent so we spent a lot, but we saved a lot. That's how I think about it. This is such a terrible angle. But anyway, I'm just gonna show you from here. So we got the Reese quilt cover set in like this nice blue. I think it's, I don't really know what kind of blue you'd call it, but it's very nice. And to go along with that, my friend's been telling me about these for so long. The 400, 400 thread bamboo cotton um, sheet. So we got this one. For the spare bedroom so it's a full sheet set and then we got this one for our bedroom which is a full sheet set again but this one's the queen deep fit just because the mattress that we have was josh's old one um, from home and it's quite a thicker mattress so we do find the normal fitted sheets do pop up so this one will be good um these were the european pillowcases that we got so i've already opened up two of them to put them on the pillows just behind you and then we treated ourselves to these superior pillows they are so so soft i can't wait to move everything over from the old house to the new house and set up the bed so that i can show you guys how lovely they are so i'm not going to take them out the um packet but it's a proper king pillow so I'm hoping it will fit like the pillowcases better. Um, so I got two of those. And then to go with the spare bed, the blue, I got a couple of pillows. So it's like a white textured with like a beigey natural color on the back. Cause that's really cute together, those colors. And then I also got this one, which has got the palm trees on it. And I just thought that was so beachy. Like we don't live so far, like so close to the beach now as we did at our old house. However, it's still, it's such a nice bright house that having this kind of beachy theme wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, and I really want to alternate the bedroom between like a blue and a green, which is not usually me. I'm pink, white, everything. Um, but yeah, I thought that that would be a cute color. And then, just because everything was so cheap and I thought, why not keep spending, of course, I got this. It's called a cotton cellular. It's a cotton blanket, which I've never heard of this before, but apparently it's quite popular. If you have a look at the photo, so it's the, it's the natural colour one. It kind of goes like over the top, kind of like a throw, but more so like an extra blanket i don't really there's a fly yeah like an extra blanket i don't really know what you call it but anyway i got that because it matched all of the linen stuff and i just thought that might be really really cute so we got those so the plan basically this week is to get all of the small things over from the house within the cars and then on the weekend when we have the truck it'll be all the big stuff and um anything left over i guess so we shall see the clock is ticking because it's actually not that long i'm so excited to finally live here we've had the keys for almost a week and it's been so depressing coming here and leaving our stuff and then going back to the old house like the old house isn't gross or anything it's just nothing like this house it's a lot older this is this is a brand new house so yeah we're very spoiled for what we've got that's for sure um, anyway, that's what I bought. That's what I spent a lot of money on. 
I felt like there was going to be a bit more to show you, but genuinely I just spent so much money and yeah. So anyway, I'm going to put a lot of these things away now in the room that they belong to and I'm going to put some of those little um, compartment tray, what were they called? Those little grey flexi tubs, whatever they are. I'm going to put some of them in the bathroom now, so I'll show you guys what that looks like as well. Okay, so I've just done the top drawer as like a random drawer. And then Josh wanted to have that one and he only wanted the big drawer, like the big tubs. And then that's my one. And then I've just spread those out there. I don't know if I'll keep them like that, but I don't know. I feel like that's kind of cute. So I've got a few more boxes, tubs, whatever we want to call them left. So I'll head into the spare bathroom um, and see what I can put in there. I'd love to have, I don't know if you guys, you probably would have seen it like on TikTok or something. There's this girl that like does a restock for the spare bathroom, like when people come over and it's so bloody cute. There's just so many things in there. And like, I know usually when visitors come, they bring their own stuff, but it would just be nice to have like a pack of like spare toothbrush, like some washes, um, face masks, things like that. So I'll put these in there and slowly just start filling them. And then if people use it, they use it. If not, I don't know, I'll use it myself. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It has been a few days actually since I last um, did any videos. Um, basically the last few nights I've been working like overnight shifts. So I've just finished work, just finished the 12 and a half hour shift. And I'm going to attempt to start getting some of the house packed up before tomorrow when we have the moving truck. So I'm just going to get dressed, have a shower, make a coffee. Oh, it's really bright. Um, because there's no way I'm going to get any rest if the alarm's going to, the smoke alarm's going to keep going off. So I'm going to do that now and then we'll get into more packing. Hello, it is several hours later and I went to sleep. <laughs> The thing I said I wasn't going to do was go to sleep and I did that. I had a really nice warm shower and then put my dressing gown on and I just couldn't resist it. I needed some Z's. What's the word? Need to catch some Z's? I don't know. Needed. I needed some sleep. After being awake for like 16 hours and working 12 and a half hours of it, you get a bit tired. So anyway, it is 10 past 3. I'm going to start packing up a bunch of stuff. Josh will be home about 5.30. So that gives me like two hours to get heaps done and basically have it ready at the door to take over with us. Um, and then tonight we'll do that. I just got a phone call from work saying that I can have Sunday off, which is nice. So now I've got three days off in a row, um, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and then I go back to work Tuesday. So it means that we can get a lot of shit done really, um, which will be really helpful because otherwise I was going to have Saturday off, go into work Sunday, and then have Monday off, go back to work Tuesday. So it was a little bit of a inconvenience anyway, but that's okay. Um, yes, I'm gonna get cracking.
have made it into the work car park. I did not think I'd be coming here tonight, but here I am. Um, I start at 2.30, finish at 11. It's 10 past two now. So I'm gonna contemplate life for a little bit in the car and then head in soon. I've got a bunch of snacks. I got my Oreos, I got my V. I got chicken pasta that I was just making before in the kitchen, which is delicious. Um, yeah, so hopefully we have a good night fingers crossed it's been a bit of a shit show on the ward like lots of admissions and whatnot but touch wood it's all good <laughs> Good morning everyone and happy Friday. It is my day off finally. So I have come to Enzo's, what's it called? Enzo's on the beach in um, like along the Esplanade and meeting up with a friend for coffee and maybe some breakfast and a walk. Um, I worked yesterday 2.30 till 11. So I didn't really pick up my camera after we went to the shops. We kind of had lunch, went home and I was like, shit, it's time to go. So that's what's happened. Um, so yeah, it's not like a really sunny day or anything, but it's still nice. It's that weather where you still like need to wear a jumper though, so yeah. Anyway, there's lots of cars around me and I'm getting socially awkward, so <laughs> I will see you guys later. I have done it again. <laughs> Yeah. Oopsies. <laughs> 